The U.S. Navy is making progress with designs and development of a next-generation DDG-51 surface destroyer called Flight 3. The idea is to engineer it with a new Aegis radar called Baseline 10 and a new, much more powerful radar, which began as the AMDR program. The idea is to see threats that are much smaller at much greater distances to give commanders a better envelope to make decisions regarding which element of the layered defense systems might be needed. It's also engineered with onboard power to accommodate emerging threats. There may be a day when lasers or rail guns are part of a destroyer platform. The idea is, of course, to further what they call distributed lethality and enable the surface fleet to both have more offensive and defensive combat power and disperse as needed as the threats may be more spread out a key element of this advanced weaponry is something that's already been deployed called NIFCA, Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter Air. It's an integrated system using Aegis radar, fire control technology, an airborne aerial fire control technology, an airborne aerial platform like an E2D Hawkeye or even an F-35 has been demonstrated. To connect with an SM-6, SM-6 is engineered with a dual motor active seeker so that it can respond to moving threats in flight if need be, and it enables ship commanders to see approaching anti-ship cruise missiles and other threats beyond the horizon. So the further away you can extend your reach as far as sensing potential threats, the better protected you can be. Whether it's some kind of laser defense in the future or an interceptor missile like an ESSM Block 2, rolling airframe missile, or even for the closest in threats, the upgrades of the Sea Wiz or close-in weapon systems, which Chris Osborne, Warrior Maven.